Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. How are you? Fine, teacher. Just give me a second. Because I have to find something that I download. Because you are... You are pre-advanced, right? Yes. Ustedes son pre-avanzados, ¿verdad, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Eh, Deme un segundito que voy a cambiar el background porque ustedes tienen que ser pre-avanzados, no tienen que ser beginner. Give me a second. I think this is the one. Yes. Ya lo encontré, dame un segundo. Problemas técnicos. Guardar como... Ya casi, ya casi. Un segundito, por favor. No worry, teacher. Es que esto, los primeros días, estos problemas técnicos. Ok, perfect. There we go. I think now it's a good time. Yes. You can see me now, right? Yes, teacher. Perfect. So, yes, well, teacher, we can. Okay, perfect. Uh, I have a question. Can you see me well and can you listen to me well? Or is there like an interference or something like that? Yes, I can listen. Don't worry. Okay, very clear. Very good. So, it's interference, simple. teacher. Un poquito de interferencia, Adriana dice, yeah, but I think it's your internet because the other ones say you, they can listen to me well. Well, we're going to see. Okay, so, but it seems like I'm alone right now. I just have Miguel and Milton. And the other ones, what are your cameras? I need to see you. Excellent, William. There we go with William. There we go with Heidi. Perfect. Now you see, I don't feel alone now. Adriana. Welcome, Marcos. Now I can see Marcos. Jessica. Eh, there we go. Yeah, I can see you now. So we're just waiting for Elsie and Ana Rivera. Okay, guys, let me first introduce myself and then we're going to go with the class. First of all, my name is, like, like I said in, in the WhatsApp chat, my name is Diana Sayas. I'm 27 years old, and I'm going to be your teacher for this module. I know that you are pre-advanced, so it, I think that you can understand perfectly the English, and you can speak a little bit of English. So the class is going to be full English. Do you have a problem with that, or is it okay with you? It's okay for me. Perfect. And the other ones? It's okay for myself. Excellent. Perfect. That's what I like. The good attitude. Right now, I think that you're like, Ay, esta teacher, I can't say esta teacher. I don't know, like something like that. But you're going to see. We're going to get along fine. Do you know what is get along? ¿Saben qué significa get along? No? Llevarnos bien. So we're gonna get along just fine. Good. So I see we are right now 12. So 11 students and with me, that's 12. Do you know each other? Or is this the first time that you're classmates? Or do you know each other? First class teacher. This is your first class ever. 
Mine too. No, no, no. It's, it's the first, the other, the other group. Ah, okay. So this is your first class with this group. Yes, teacher. Ah, I understand. Thank you, Heidi. And the other ones? In my Do case, this is my first class to this academy. That class I study in English, uh, direct English. Okay, but okay. But I need a quick study because I had an accident and now I am incapacitated because I broke my leg. Really? How so? Uh, around uh, last October because I broke my leg when I crushed my motorcycle with another car. Okay. So. And, and I, I am in the process to come over that problem. Oh, okay. But are you are well? Just you're waiting for your leg to be okay. No, it was bad because maybe I could pass away in that moment because I have a damage in my stomach. And but my now I I, I have a problem with my leg because I can't uh, walk. That's why I don't like motorcycles. They are way too dangerous. I don't like them. Are you gonna drive a motorcycle again, William? Yes, maybe. <laughs> what? That's what I don't understand. You have accidents and then you're like, yeah, maybe when I drive a, drive a motorcycle, just know. If I didn't die the first time, who knows? <laughs> it's more dangerous, the, the public transportation. Well, yeah, well, mm, it depends. It depends. But okay, I'm... I'm Happy that you're doing okay now, William, and then you're feeling better because you're, I, I'm guessing that your stomach is better now? Yes, it's better. Just I have a problem with my, with my leg. Oh, okay, okay. But I with hope you leg. get well soon, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. So yes, guys, I will like this uh, class to be very participative because I need you to be speaking. It's not only the teacher, the one that has to be speaking it because I already know English. So you need to practice. It's not me, it's you that need to practice. If you don't understand something that I say in English, you can ask me, hey teacher, I didn't understand that. Can you repeat or something like that, okay? Because sometimes I use maybe words that you don't understand, but I can say it in simpler words, okay? That's okay with you? Okay. Yes, teacher. Do this. Okay, teacher. okay, perfect. If you don't want to say yes, teacher, just do it like, or at least like a shower, right? Just do something that I can understand that you are okay with it. Okay, very good. So if like this is the first class, I would like to break the, the ice and maybe you can introduce yourselves. I know that this is I don't know, like when we, we were in the school, like, hello, my name is, I don't know what, and I am here because, but you know, that's the way we like to see, each other. like something that is like there to break the ice. So, but this time I'm going to ask you your name. Okay. Tell me your name. If you want to, you can tell me your age. If you don't want to, that's okay. But tell me something interesting about you. Okay, so anything, it can be anything, but something that is interesting about you. Wait a second, because I think someone is sending messages. <coughs> Tienen problemas con el link, dicen. Deme un segundito, guys, porque tengo entonces que mandar esto. Oh, Happy New Year, by the way, because this is January still. Okay, something interesting about yourselves and your name. And if you want to say your age, say your age. We're gonna do this really quick. So I'm the teacher, I'm gonna start and then you can follow, okay? So my name, as I told you, is Diana Sayas. Some, well, I am 27 years old and something interesting about me, something interesting about me is that I can be workaholic. Do you know what is workaholic? Yeah, William? Eh, trabajólica. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I can, I don't know. 
I cannot say no to work. So I'm always working, always working. I work from Monday to Sunday. So that's something interesting about me. And I have different jobs, a lot of jobs. So we're gonna go now with Miguel Angel because Miguel Angel is the first one here in my list. So if you can start Miguel Angel, please. Hi, hey, my name is Miguel Angel Ramirez Vargas. I am working in uh, Sparpas Warehouse um, in Texufir in Soyapango. I live in Quisaltepeque. Uh, my family is uh, my daughter, my wife, my father, my brother, and is a uh, first class uh, in this year. Uh, I am very, very happy. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Miguel. Perfect. Now, the second one here is William. Well, we already know something interesting about William. <laughs> okay, go ahead, William. Okay, hello teacher, hello guys, and my name is William Rodriguez, and I am 30 years old. I live in Cuscatlan, and I am a, a, a happy person because I could like when I, I can speak in English because I like to speak in English. Uh, this is the reason that I am learning English again because I, I talked about my problem last year. But, and I am a great team player, and I could like to speak with, the, with the, another classmate or with the teacher, for example, and I would like to to play soccer when 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 I feel good, I could I could uh, play soccer again. But now uh, I can't play soccer with my problem. But nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, William. Nice to meet you, Jessica. You're the next. You're next. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Hi. My name is Jessica. I'm 20 years old. And something interesting about me, maybe is um, in 2020, I started like my own business. Uh, um, I don't know how to say uh, emprendedora. Entrepreneur. And, okay, I'm entrepreneur and I like to work like uh, making personalized gifts uh, and things like that. <laughs> wow, very interesting. Thank you, Jessica. Thank so you. you're your entrepreneurship or your business is to make personalized gift. That's yeah. your business? Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Good job, Jessica. Okay. Nice to meet Thanks. you. Thanks. Marcos Celayandia. Did I pronounce that right? Uh, hello. hello, Mr. My name is Marcos Celayandia. It's a first class on um, pretty advanced uh, English and, and I need practice the English and the language but I have 29 years old and an interesting of me um, I am the referee of football soccer in process. Ah okay so you're studying or you're in the process to become a referee in professional yeah. soccer? Uh, yes I am process of professional referee soccer oh, wow that's very yes. interesting yes wow well you need to know english because if you are the referee for an international match learning yes. english is something very important right yes uh, okay. only i need um, more practice for the 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 totally english with okay. you or with when sister uh i practice with their okay Okay, okay, perfect. Nice to meet you, Marcos. Nice to meet you. And we're gonna go now with Adriana, who's the following here. Okay, uh, hello, teacher and guys. Good evening. Uh, my name is Adriana Estrada. I'm 24 years old. And something interesting about me is that I finished my major the last year. And the reason why I took this course is because I want to reinforce my English skills. And what is your major on? Uh, licenciatura en idioma inglés, opción enseñanza. Wow, okay. What are you studying? Yes. But At the University of El Salvador. Wow, okay, okay. Yes, I like it. it there's a lot of opportunities Thank there you. in that field, a lot of them. Let me tell you, I didn't want to yeah, uh, I... study English, but now I have a lot of jobs because of English. <laughs> 
Yes, I hope so, teacher. Okay. And nice Perfect. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So let's go now with, I think, Milton Canjura. Can you turn on your microphone, please? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Milton Canjura. I am on work at to Field Factory. In how salesmen, in I need uh, uh, to learn in, uh, English because it's necessary for a business, uh, a better business. And then uh, here are again, uh, I hope uh, the new cure is very great with you. In with the classmate, and okay, only okay, thank you, thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Milton. Now, let's go with Saul Danilo Canjura. Can you microphone? I cannot hear you. Hello? Hello? Yes, now I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, my name is Saul. Is clear my voice? Yeah, your voice is clear. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I have a story about my name. My official name is Saul Canjura Jimenez. Danilo is a family name because my mother, like uh, the Danilo name, but my father, whose name was uh, Saul, he wants that my name will be or will be Saul. And okay. that is the history, <laughs> the history. And <clears throat> I am an electronic engineer and I work in a public office in the environmental ministry. And my, <clears throat> my job is, is about to maintain of um, I It's difficult to pronounce, the, but it's something about meteorology. Meteorologic mm, instrument. Meteorology? Meteorologic instrument. And uh, for example, the sensor that uh, is checking the temperature, the relative humidity, the rain, and the wind, and the solar radiation, uh, etc. And something can can say how is possible uh, this person that is an electronic engineer is uh, working in meteorology, meteorology, and <clears throat> the thing is uh, meteorology is a uh, scientific science that is focusing in physics and math. And that uh, I like that uh, uh, science because uh, you have the opportunity to travel a lot. Now it's not uh, as in the past because now the training, the conference are by Zoom. But in the past, uh, you had uh, the opportunity to travel to Europe, to South America, and etc. And I have been, you know, I have had that uh, marvel experience. That's oh. that. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Saul. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, well uh, Saul told us a lot of things about himself, right? So it's very interesting. He has traveled and he works in an interesting field. Thank you. Very good. Janet de Pastor. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Janet de Pastor. I'm 41 years old. In that moment, I don't 
work. I'm in El Salvador, but I am from here. Um, I would like to practice, improve my English because I went to work at call center the first time. And after I want to con improve my, um, I a little bit nervous. <laughs> no, it's okay, don't worry. Um, well, I want to improve professional to take care or support my family, my children in a specific. Yeah. And something about me, I got to practice in different kind of uh, sport, like uh, different kind of martial art, um, like uh, judo, taekwondo, karate do, uh, shooting with with pawn or um, wow, inter that's pretty uh, interesting. <laughs> yes, I like sport. And for the moment, i making craft, like a doll or different, um, I don't know, manualidades. <laughs> and craft. Like craft. OK, OK. Thank you very much, Janet. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, don't be nervous, guys. This is introductions. This is okay. Everybody is getting to know everybody. It's okay. Don't worry. So just let me see something because when you turn off your cameras, I cannot remember if I already asked you. So try to keep them on because I forget. Hello. So because I forget and I'm like, did I ask this person? Because I know Milton, Miguel, Saul, Adriana, Jessica, Marcos, Janet, William already participated. Glenda, you haven't, right? Hello, Glenda. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. My name is Glenda Martinez, and I'm 38 years old, almost 39. Uh, okay. My birthday is on February. 14. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's something interesting about you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have a son. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Mm -hmm. um, teacher, preschool teacher. That's I, why I like you look so young because the students <laughs> give you that youth, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love to to work with children between three and five years old. Excellent, mm -hmm. very good. I, I like basketball, ping pong, uh, climb mountain, no volcano, Santana volcano. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. I love uh, go to see the ocean in the evening. Mm -hmm. I love to go to Cerro Verde, uh, Boquerón. I love beach and mountains. Mountains. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Glenda. Very good. Okay. It seems like Glenda is a very active person, right? She <laughs> likes to climb a lot. Very good. Excellent. Let's go with now. I don't know, because when you turn off your cameras, I don't know if I have asked you or not. Uh, Heidi, did I ask you already, Heidi? Did I ask you, Heidi? No, I cannot hear you. Your microphone is off. Excuse me, teacher. Oh, ya se oh, presentó. Did no, you introduce yourself? No, teacher. Okay, no, teacher. Go ahead. OK. OK, teacher. Uh, my name is Heidi. I am what in the fruit of the loom. I am learning in English, I speak in the personal. The personal is interesting. And the, the study very, very annual years, but but difficult in my person. Only okay. teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Heidi. Nice to meet you. 
Now let's go with Liliana. Um, good evening. Good evening. My name is Liliana, and I'm 20 years old. And well, I live in Juan Opico La Libertad. Uh, well, something interesting of me is I like to travel and I like to visit new place, new country. And I hope that improve my vocabulary, I think. Okay. This is all. Oh, thank you. Have you have you traveled to any other countries, Liliana, or do you want to travel? Yes, uh, actually, um, I stayed in Belgium. And now? Right now you're in Belgium? Yes. <laughs> wow. Um, but uh, for the schedule, it's difficult, but I... I want to improve my English. And what time is it in Belgium right now? It's 3, three o'clock a.m. Wow. And that's the reason that my boss is, is something low. And, and well, I, I like to, to visit new countries. And, and, and are you going to stay in Belgium a lot or just right now? And you're going to come back to El Salvador? Uh, well, uh, I, I I I will back in in Sunday on Sunday, oh, okay. but oh. I stayed in in this country by three months since November. Oh, you have been in Belgium since no since November. Yes. Yes. Wow, that's something interesting about you. You should have started <laughs> with that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much, Liliana. Let's go now with, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, Ana Rivera. Ana, I can see you. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I'm apologize because I have problem with my camera right now. Mm -hmm. I was trying to fix it, but I couldn't. Okay. Uh, yeah. But I'm here. Nice to meet you, teacher. And nice, to meet, nice to meet you, all of you. My name is Ana Rivera, and I'm glad to be here. And um, 43, 42, not yet 43. <laughs> 42 years old, and I'm, I'm a married woman. Also, um, something interesting about me is that I am um, I'm, um, an enterprising woman. Entrepreneur? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> and uh, I love the, the plants. I love uh, uh, care of the old animal plants. Also, I sell plants and I love all kind of flowers. And uh, I'm here to uh, English um, and that's it. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you very much, oh. Anna. Thank you. Okay, I don't know, but my internet was a little bit slow for a moment. Okay, anyhow, something interesting about me too is that I'm always drinking tea. So you were gonna see me drinking tea all the time. Like I live in England, I am, I'm always drinking tea. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. So we went there, there, there. Jessica, did you introduce yourself? Just remind me. Jessica Mena? Yes, I have already did it. Okay, but thank you. Sandra Yasmin Gallegos. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my camera doesn't work, teacher. Sorry about that. But uh, I'm here with my boys. <laughs> so. My name is Sandra Hasmin, uh, but you can tell me Jasmine. Okay. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I live in San Salvador with my parents. 
my brothers too and my pets. We have two pets, uh, one cat and one duck. Uh, something interesting about me is that I'm a student of agronomic engineering. Okay. So today I like to deal with animals or plants. So for the same reason, some people can call me the doctor of plants <laughs> <laughs> or the doctor of animals. Okay. Um, although I'm not yet such an expert in that area, but I'm trying to do my best with animals and plants. Okay. Um, right now, I'm trying to finish my career. Uh, I'm, do, I'm doing my degree project and my, although when I'm trying to work on my own, a business creating some kitchen farm and right now in this year i'm trying to study things that will help will help me with uh, something about my career and that's why i'm here and i think that it's all of for me <laughs> <laughs> okay okay thank you very much sandra okay, that's that's very you. interesting okay guys um i think i'm just missing i don't know <sighs> let me see so we went here there 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 um jose manuel did you introduce yourselves yourself no or yes no did you. no i don't okay okay let's go with you okay good evening everybody it's a pleasure to stay in this group uh, my name is Manuel sanchez I am 28 years old. I live near to Cojutepeque. Uh, I'm working in Town Hall. And, and just I like to English and I try to improve. And that's it. Okay. Thank you very much, Jose. So you work in the, you, you live sir, close to Cojutepeque, you say, or what? Yes. <laughs> so I you live work in Santa Cruz, Michapa, but it's more. Uh, Conocido, es no, Cojutepeque. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So, but you work in the town hall of San Cruz, Michapa, you said? San Cruz, Michapa. San yeah. Cruz, Oh, okay, okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, Jose. Okay. Excellent. Now, let me see. Bo, 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 bo. Gabriela, did I go with you already? Okay, teacher. Uh, good night. My good name evening. is. Uh, perdón. Uh, good evening. My name is Gabriela Garcia, but I like to call me Gabby. Uh, I I don't have everything interesting about me. <laughs> I'm guessing you have something interesting. Maybe you just don't remember. There's <laughs> always something interesting. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is your job? I job in a Walmart in well, a that, supermarket. That, that's something <laughs> interesting. I have never met someone that works in a Walmart, so you're the first one. You see, interesting. <laughs> you're a cashier or or what? Uh, no, I <sighs> manager the production. Production manager, you see, that's something interesting. Why do you say there's nothing interesting about you? That's interesting. <laughs> it's it, it, uh, manager that cafe, cafeteria. Cafeteria? Cafeteria and panaderia. Bakery. Ba bakery, okay. Okay, okay, that's very good. Ya voy a vamos a anotar el número. Vamos a ir al Gabriela. Okay, thank you very much, Gabriela. Nice to meet you. Okay, let me see. Just Regina Perez, did I call you already? Tereme, did I call you? Aquí. Hello. Hello. There we go. Hello, Regina. Excuse me, se me va la cámara. Ahí está. Ahí. Solo la veía en parpadeos. 
<laughs> sí, no lo podía conectar. <laughs> ok. Oh, good night. Bueno, good evening. My teacher and classmate. My name is Regina Pérez de Trejo. I live in San Salvador. I am business administration in I work at the Technology University. I need English because the art business class that the, the, we must keep in keep in English there in English. Uh, but but the English is difficult for me. <laughs> Pero ahí vamos. But you want nice to learn. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice teacher. to meet you, Regina. Regina, right, Regina. Nice to meet mm -hmm. you. Um, no one else? Miren, si no le he llamado a alguien, dígame. Maybe I have, like, I think everybody went. I think everybody did. I want to think. Okay, guys, well. Si nadie, si que hable ahora o calle para siempre, ¿verdad? No, mentira, no calle para siempre. Ok, so, I'm very excited today because this is the first time in a long, 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 long time that I'm teaching advanced English. Because since the pandemic started, I have been teaching only basic English. And with the basic levels, I'm not able to speak a lot in English because sometimes I have to explain things in Spanish. So when they told me, hey, we're going to give you a pre-advance and I was like, oh, yes, I want that because I want to speak English. I want to improve my English. Like not improve, but practice. Yes, not improve, but practice. Because I used to live in the United States uh, for a year and that was when I learned like a little bit more about pronunciation. But since I came back to El Salvador, it has been difficult for me because you don't find people to practice with, right? It's very difficult. So yes, I'm very excited because we're gonna be learning together. I'm gonna be practicing with you and you're gonna be practicing with me. Okay, let me share my screen because I need to, uh, the first class for me is like, mm, we're getting to know each other. Tal vez la única vez que les escuche, because sometimes people are like, no, I'm not going to speak anymore again. And just in the introductions is when I have to hear you once. <laughs> okay. Uh, these are maybe the topics we're going to be looking at today. That's relative pronouns as subjects and relative pronouns as objects. Um, maybe if you want to write this, uh, and then we have the date. That is Monday, January 17th. 2021, oh my goodness, I'm living in the past. No dejo ir mi pasado, I'm living in the past. Oh my God, it's 2022. Yo creo right. que mucho volver al futuro. Is... Yeah, Back to the Future. You know, that's one of my favorite pic uh, movies. Yeah, Back to the Future is one of my favorite movies, so maybe. <laughs> okay, so yes, now, yes. We're back in the future. Monday, January 17th, 2022. You can say 2022 or you can say 2022. Both ways are correct. Let's go with the next one here that we have. This is me. That's me. So um, you can see like my profile there. So you cannot be like, ah, esta teacher a saber, de seguro. But now I started to learn English and I, then I went to the United States. I got this degree. No, 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 no. This was in ITCA, but something here, here is, yes. Uh, this is the time when I went to the United States. I was teaching Spanish to little kids and I was living with a host family. They were people from the United States. So they will speak only in English to me. So there's where I improve my pronunciation. So that's me. Okay, some things that I'm gonna require about you in this class. Something that is very important for me, if you can do it, that's very important. Cameras on at all times. Because as you know, this class is being recorded. 
I don't know if when you got in the class, it says recording in progress, something like that. And it's because this class is gonna go up to YouTube. So maybe we have a supervisor and the supervisor watches the class and she or he is gonna ask me, hey, so it's very important that you have your cameras on as much as possible. Then this is not a requirement, but I would like you to do it. If you write your full names as you have it in your ID, because yeah, that's more formalities if you want to call it. So if someone is saying, ah, ¿quién es esa persona que está inscrita? Y yo le digo, ah, es que solo se pone Johnny en la clase, pero se llama Juan Pérez. So no, write your names because, yeah, you know, por, uh, por auditoría. Login on time. So please, if you want to come to the class, please be on time because we have only one hour and one hour goes like this. Turn on your mic only when necessary. This is very important, you guys, because sometimes I'm teaching and you have your microphones on and maybe your mom is saying, ¿Por qué no entraron la ropa? Yo le dije que le entraran a ti. And I'm listening to that and I'm listening. And this is going to YouTube. So yeah, please have your microphones off. And when you're going to say something, say, que voy a hablar. So and then you can start speaking, right? So para que no se convierta en un meme, it's better if you do it like that. Spanish as a last resource, yes, because we're learning English and you're pre-advanced. So I am hoping that you're gonna be speaking in English and just in English. As a last resource, Spanish, meaning that if you don't know how to say something, you say, teacher, how do I say this in English? And then I can help you, but not using Spanish a lot. That's not okay. Attendance is the minutes. It's about the minutes. So it's about the minutes. She'll be there. Um, when you come to the class, it's not just like, ah, ya hice presencia, me voy. No, it's that the time that you stay here in the class. That's very important. And then you have to work on the platform. So you have to work in the exercises there. Because coming here to the class and being present in the class is like when you go to the school and you are in the classroom. But working in the platform is like when you do the homeworks and you do the exams and you do the quizzes, that's the platform. Do you know how to use the platform? Do you know how to use the platform? Yeah, no? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes and what the platform. Okay, so if someone yes. doesn't know how to use the platform, you can tell me and I'm going to show you because that's very important. That's the homeworks and that's the exam. I'm going to show you maybe really quick here because I was watching something here in the platform. So you're going to log in with your email and your password that they are going to give you in English Corporativo. And then you're going to come here um, wait a second, maybe it's here for me. We're gonna see. Yeah, so I have all the classes that I have done, but now we're gonna focus on this one. Ingles pre avanzado modulo uno. We're gonna click on that. Si pueden ver mi pantalla or like, yeah, or not? Yes. Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, and then you're gonna come here, section number one, that's what friends are for. You're gonna click on that. And then it's gonna take you to the exercises. So the first thing that you're gonna see is the objective of the lesson. Then you can watch a little video about the lesson. Then another objective, another lesson. And then you have a knowledge check. In that part, you're gonna have homeworks, okay? So you're gonna select an option here, for example. It's something pretty easy to do. It's not gonna take you more than five minutes to complete one exercise. It's pretty easy to do. Then again, you're gonna have objectives, lessons, objectives, lessons, then you're gonna have knowledge checks. So these ones with the little pen, 
lapicitos. So these ones are going to be the knowledge, knowledge check. At the end of section three, I believe, section three. Let me see here. Yeah, you have a midterm. So you have a midterm at the end of section three. And then by the end of section five, you have a final exam, okay? So the knowledge checks are gonna be like homeworks. And then you have one midterm and one final exam. Do you have any questions about that? Okay. And the midterm is a free question only. What is it, Marcos? In the midterm, midterm is a five question. Five parts, no five questions. It should say five parts. So one is going to be grammar. The other one is maybe going to be vocabulary. There is listening. So five parts, no five questions. Okay. Any other question? No, no questions. Háganle como un amigo que tengo. Míreme la seña. Mírenme la seña. So, así entiendo. Si no, vamos a enseñar el lenguaje de señas. Question, okay, perfect. Thank you very much. I like that. Okay, now let's go back here. Have you ever, guys, learned a tongue twister? Do you know what is a tongue twister? Trabalengua, teacher. Exactly. Yes, but I don't like in the English. It's so <laughs> Have you ever practiced ice cream, use cream, milk cream for ice cream? No, yeah? For me, no? Yet. Not yet. So, for me. I don't know. I'm going to give you a tip or an advice or something that you can use for pronunciation. Listen. In Spanish, it's very common that when we say words like this, let me show you the word. So, for example, when we say words like this or like this, it's, oh, sorry. And let's do it, this one. Okay. So when we say words like this, it's very common in Spanish that we say, I study in the school. That is incorrect. Then something that we say is a stay. I want to stay here. Mm, incorrect. I want to start a new job. Incorrect. Something in English is that when you have a letter S at the beginning of the word and then it's followed by a consonant, you pronounce the letter S just the sound. S, S, and then you say the rest of the word. For example, the first word is school. School, right? It's not a school, it's School, right? School. I study in the school. And sometimes you, jo you join the last word with the next word. So, for example, the school. You say it together. Then we have stay. S -s 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 stay. I want to stay here. I want to stay here. You don't say I want to stay here. Right, don't say it like that, that is incorrect. And then we have start. Dale start al juego, dale start a la película, start, start. Nah, it's not correct. We say start, start, okay? Just say the pronunciation of the letter and then say that. So this tongue twister is gonna help you guys with that. So you see? This is the tongue twister. This is the easiest tongue twister that there is in English. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you joined it, you see? Ice cream. It sounds like you say ice cream, but no, it's ice cream. I scream, you scream, you scream. Ven como no digo, you scream. I say, you scream, you scream. 
we all scream for ice cream. Okay, so what I want you to do is to practice and practice and practice and practice and practice this tongue twister tomorrow in your work, in your house, in whatever you're doing, just try to practice this tongue twister. And then you're gonna be like, ice cream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream, ice cream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream, ice cream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream. By the end of the day, maybe you're gonna be say, ice cream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream. Cuando le pregunten, mira, igual la inglés, ¿sí? Decime algo. Ice cream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream. Y la gente se va a quedar. ¿Y qué dijiste, bo? So, right? So, we're going to say, ice cream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream. But don't say it in your mind. No. It's say it with your mouth. So, I'm just going to speak in, in Spanish really quick. Voy a hablar en español rapidito. Cuando ustedes van al gym y pagan el gimnasio, pero no hacen ejercicio. ¿Van a haber cambios? Cambios en la billetera, ¿verdad? Tenía 25 dólares, 30 y ya no los tengo. But cambios en su cuerpo? Mm, positivos tal vez no. But the thing is, si yo voy y hago el ejercicio, claro que voy a cambiar mi cuerpo. Si dejo de comer tanto también, ¿verdad? But here in English is the same. La gente dice, teacher, pero es que para mí la pronunciación viera que bien difícil, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. ¿Y qué hace? No, es que yo para escucharlo, sí, es que ya hablarlo, es que me cuesta. Si me pagaran por cada vez que me han dicho eso mis alumnos. La cosa es que usted escucha, pero no habla. Entonces, ¿qué tiene que hacer para aprender a hablar inglés? Hablar inglés, no, no escuchar inglés, ya escuchar ya sabe. You have to speak in English. Entonces, esto no quiero que lo vayan a dar en su mente. Entrene los músculos en su boca y las cuerdas vocales. Están acostumbradas a hablar que Spanish. Entonces, yo les tengo que entrenar para que aprendan a hablar que English. Son diferentes músculos, diferentes posiciones, todo es diferente. So, I want you to be like, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Y viendo aquí cómo mueve su boca. I scream, you scream. No me digas scream, porque es aire, no. Scream, scream. Y usted se ve y dice, ah, miren, qué bonito voy sonando. Se graba. Ah, sí, ya voy sonando mejor. So this is for you to practice. This is going to help you with pronunciation. Tomorrow, I'm going to ask some students, hey, did you practice the tongue twister? Can you say it? And we're going to say it together here, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, okay teacher. Yes, yeah, okay. it's okay, teacher. Perfect. Okay, we're going to talk now about relative pronouns as subjects and objects. There are, okay, so there are two types of pronouns in English, mainly. Subjects and objects. Sometimes a pronoun can be the subject of a sentence, or sometimes a pronoun can be the object of a sentence. When a pronoun is the subject of a sentence, you don't, like the sentence doesn't make sense if you don't have the pronoun. So the pronoun, it's making the subject of the sentence. For example, in the first example that we have here, we have two sentences. If you can see, we have two sentences. One, two. How can I identify a sentence? I have a subject, a verb, and a complement. That is a sentence, yes or no? Yes. Yes. And then in this case, I have a verb and I have a complement. What is the subject? What is the subject of this sentence, the second sentence? Who. who so in this case the pronoun who is the subject of the sentence because I don't have a subject here so I have a verb but I don't have a subject so what is the subject is who so when the sub when the pronoun is the subject of a sentence the pronoun is realizing the action is doing the action is being part of the action. Now, when you have 
the second example that I have here is I like people who I can trust. So again, we have two sentences. This is a sentence and this is a sentence. So if you can see here in this sentence, I have subject, verb, complement. In the second sentence, what is the subject of this sentence? Can you tell me? I. I, because I am doing the action. This is the verb and this is the complement. So who in this case is an object, okay? So the action has a reaction on this, but is not the subject of the sentence. Give me a second. Hey, yeah, you, your micro maker. What is it? Miguel. Okay. Dijo que quedó claro? No sé si la entendí. Yeah, por tirar ahí. Sorry, es que like se me cruzan aquí sus micrófonos. Voy a apagarlos todos. Uh, recuerden que just turn on your microphone when you want to say something. Okay. So in this case, this one, even if I don't have it, let's look at this. If I don't have this, this sentence still makes sense. You see? I like people I can trust. You see? It's not necessary in the sentence. But when the pronoun is the subject of the second sentence, the sentence doesn't make sense if you don't have this. For example, if I say, I like people are really friendly, does it make sense, guys? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you, students. So if it doesn't make sense, it means that this is the subject of the second sentence just like that we have two main uh pronouns relative pronouns these are called relative pronouns so the relative pronouns more common that we have are who and that fíjense que nosotros en español utilizamos mucho ese that mucho mucho ya se fijado es que no sé por qué lo utilizamos tanto yo lo utilizaba tanto también que i told my friend that i want to go to his house that I want to see his sister, that I am friend, that I, that, that, that. Decimos mucho ese that. No se van a dar cuenta, pero cuando estén hablando se van a dar cuenta que dicen that, that, that. Quieren decir qué, quién, cuándo, todo con that. Na, 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 na. So we're going to do something here. We're going to use that for things. And we can use it for people too, but it's more, I don't know. Let's call it sophisticated if you say who when you're talking about people, right? So for example, I like my students who are really speak, like um, talkative in the class. They like to speak in the class. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí, me, así me hacen. Sí, teacher, tengo que apagarles todos los micrófonos. Okay, let's go here with the next one. That, in this case, is that. So Carlos printed the email that I sent him. That's the first example. The second example is she needs a laptop that works well. In this case, guys, quiero que en el chat, I want you to tell me in the chat, the first sentence, that is a subject or an object. And in the second sentence, that is a subject or an object? I'm guessing that the first one is an object, maybe you're saying? And the second one? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, let's go back here. So in this one, let's see, Ana, Ana Rivera, can you tell me why in this case that is an object and not a subject? 
I'm sorry for that. The noise. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, because the sentence um, is uh, have, uh, for example, Carlos printed the, M the email uh, can survive without that. And okay. the, the other one is the same. Can, can survive. <laughs> Okay, okay, but let me ask you a question. In yeah. this sentence, what is the subject? I. Okay, so in that case, that is not the subject, right? Right. Excellent, thank you, Anna. Let's go now with Marcos. Marcos, tell me why in this case that you say it's a subject and not an object. The subject is a refer um, and substitute the mm -hmm. that for the object. Okay, okay. But so this is a subject you say. What is the verb of this subject? If. What is the, is the verb? Work. Works. Okay, thank you, Marcos. Uh, Maximiliano, you're raising your hand. Okay, I, I think that in the first one, the question, in the, in the first statement, Carlos is the subject because I'm talking about Carlos uh, printed the email. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is my idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carlos is the subject for me. Yeah, and in the second sentence that we have here, the subject? In the second. In the second set, I send him. We are talking about the email. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the, the email. But it's, it's, my, it's my throat. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Don't worry, Maximiliano. That is correct. <laughs> yes. So in this case, you need to pay attention. And la, the big majority of you gave me a correct answer. So if we have here that, and we don't have any subject here, then you can understand that this verb right here, this is the subject of that verb, okay? Yeah? It's not so difficult to understand. Oh, ah, okay, antes de finalizar la clase. Siempre voy a enseñar un tipo de frase de estas. I'm always gonna teach you something about this. How do you say es pan comido o está bien chiche in English? Easy peasy? The fur is, is a piece of cake. cake. Piece of cake. of cake. Both are correct. You can say easy peasy because easy peasy is very often used. And you can also say it's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. That's it. <laughs> exactly. So when you speak in English, guys, don't say, oh, it's very easy, teacher, because you sound, mm, yes, you sound like you're learning English. But if you're going to sound more advanced, you're going to say it's a piece of cake. Okay. Piece of cake, teacher, right? Okay, teacher, piece of cake. Excellent, piece of cake, teacher. very good. Guys, so time's up. I don't know how, but time's up already. So I'm going to see you tomorrow at the same time, 8, p 8 p.m. So if you can be on time, be on time, please. And practice the tongue twister. Yes? Okay, that's it. Yes, teacher. Have a, teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye. 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 B